Next booth, we have in Jerusalem the famous Western Wall that everybody knows. And today the Arabs built a mosque right on top, but where the mosque is, it used to be the Holy Temple, the first and the second temple. The wall is actually one of four. When we review the Oral Torah, we see in the Midrash, Songs of Songs, chapter 2, verse 6. Inside the Shira Shirim itself, the Songs of Songs, it's, it speaks in a present language. What's the present language? This is what it says. Here is our Western world watching us from the windows. And when we review what the Oral Torah had to tell us about that verse, we're finding something unbelievable. The, Gemara, the Midrash promise that the Western world always going to be protected by the Spirit of God. It can never fall down. The Torah promise the Western world will never ever collapse. If the Western world will collapse, it will be, God forbid, the first mistake in the Torah. The Torah promised us that no matter what happened, you're always going to find the Western world is standing because God has sworn to the Western world that it will never ever collapse. Now the point is, not that many people are aware of and familiar with the history, but let me read to you a little bit just from what happened in that area. First, Titus, the Roman Caesar, is destroying the second temple. Somehow he destroyed three other walls, but he did not touch the western wall. Adrianus is destroying the entire city of Jerusalem and build a new city called Ilia Capitolina, but for some reason he did not touch the wall. The Christian Byzantion, they occupied Jerusalem, they left the wall standing. The Persians, the Byzantine, the Muslims Arab, the Caliph Omar is building the mosque Omar right there, but he doesn't touch the wall. Then the Muslims occupy the entire Jerusalem, they don't touch the wall. Then the Fatamis, which is a different kind of Muslims, they occupy the area, they don't touch the wall. There is an earthquake in Jerusalem, destroyed entire city, but the wall is still standing. Then the Turkish, the Saljuks, the Fatamim again, the Muslims, then the Christians, and then Salah Hadim, and Frederick II, and the Mongols, and the Turks again, and the British, and so many others, and so many wars, and twice the Western world was destroyed. Once by the Babylonians 2600 years ago, once by the Romans, in between the Greeks came and burned the temple. Every time a certain empire came to destroy the, the, the temple, for whatever reason, which nobody understands, they never touched the Western Wall. Why? Because the Torah promised. Here is my wall standing. I am protecting it. It will never fall down. That means if it will fall down, God forbid, that will be the first mistake in a Torah.